While the fair, it offers a slice of Minnesota wildlife. We know that, right? It also offers up so much art and so much culture. And that is why our next guest, if you have not met him, he is simply spectacular. Adam Turman, come on in here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You've probably seen his artwork. He is, his stuff is out here at the fair. I know you join us now with a look at some of your work. But first off, how does it feel being out at the fair among everyone? It's a huge crowd of people. Look at this. I mean, the, I was here last year, and it was amazing how much more people are here this year. There's just crowds and crowds of people. So if you're not here, you should probably get here. Yeah, you should probably get here sooner than later. So let us know what you have going on at the fair this year. So I have a booth. Uh, this is my fifth year, and we're at the top of the, 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 the big ramp over here at the second level of the grandstand. And I've got all sorts of fun stuff to uh, share with you guys and hopefully sell you guys, too. I love some of this artwork. So this is one that really caught my attention. Do we have it here? Look at this beautiful piece of artwork. Explain the story behind this. So we, we call this one butter carving. And last year, Linda Christensen was the butter carver for like 50 plus years. Long time. That's a, that's a really long time to carve butter, right? So anyway, she was doing um, uh, you know, the Princess K butter heads and she just retired last year. Now there's a new guy, his name's Jerry. And so this is a commemorative piece that kind of like, you know, brings all that together. And then we have this coloring page over here. Right here. This is free, you can get this at our booth. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is basically the line art of the butter carving piece. And at the end of the fair, if you color this in, any age can do it. Yeah. Uh, and then you put in the hashtag Art with Adam Terman, you post on social media. We are giving away three of these to three random winners. Wow. So you can, so you can do that. That is awesome to see. Now, I know you are a big staple in the art community, too. You do so much when it comes to helping others around you, too. Trying to, and that's part of like what this coloring book page is about, you know, about getting people who may or may not think that they're creative to try to get creative with, with art. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I did when I was a kid. I just loved to draw. My parents really, you know, influenced me to keep on drawing, and that's what I've kept to doing, and hopefully I can do that for other people, too. Now, the thing is, people can see your artwork really quick because we're running out of time. You can see your artwork all around the state fair, too. Uh, correct. Uh, the north entrance has like four characters up there. So like, you know, the fair child and actually all these characters that are on butter carving, really. And, um, you know, I was the commemorative artist for 2015. Yeah. And um, you can see a lot of art at my booth, too. Mr. Terman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you.